Welcome to Easy Email Marketing. I'm your host, Yael Keown, mum, FIFO wife, MBA, coffee lover, survivor superfan, and creator of the email experience. In Easy Email Marketing, you'll benefit from my nearly 20 years experience where I'll be teaching you all the tips, tricks, and insider info on how to create feel-good, non-spammy experiences for your subscribers. Let's get stuck in. Welcome back to the Easy Email Marketing Podcast. I'm your host, Yael Keown, and today is part three of a four-part series where I spill on my top email marketing secrets. These are the little shifts that make all the difference when it comes to email marketing and what makes everything simpler and less overwhelming. And today I'm addressing the big elephant in the room, the tech. I can't tell you how many times people tell me they avoid email marketing because they aren't, in quotation marks, techie. Let me tell you, nobody is techie. They don't start that way. They learn. Um, So mic drop, leave the episode there. (laughs) No, no, just, uh, just joking. Ultimately, people just sometimes find it all too overwhelming, so they don't even begin. Or they start with one piece of software and find that difficult, so they write off email marketing altogether thinking, nope, that's too hard. I'm not smart enough for this. Big mistake. Please don't just um, judge all software by the same brush. Also, I promise you that no matter how tech phobic you are, you can absolutely learn email marketing extremely easily. The tools are getting better and easier. You just have to choose the right one. But before I get stuck in, I did want to give you one final reminder about the email marketing bootcamp, which I am running right now. So if you are listening to this episode on the day it drops, it starts today, June 20th. It is a four-day event and you can continue to register right up until June 23rd um, to be able to catch all the replays. So there will be replays available for a limited time. So if it's not too late, um, if you're listening, um, it, make sure to register at yalkeown.com forward slash bootcamp and you'll catch all this content which includes how to do email marketing your way and how it all works, what to send your list that feels aligned with who you are, choosing the best email marketing software for you, um, which obviously if you're listening to today's episode is probably something you're interested in, and the six steps for using email to grow your business. Plus there was plenty of time for you to ask questions, to get support from me, including you asking me what do you reckon the best software is for my situation? And I can provide you advice on that. So enroll now at yalkeom.com forward slash bootcamp. If you happen to be listening to this after June 23rd, but before June 30, that means doors to my signature 12 month program, the email experience are now open. This program container contains everything you need to create an impactful email marketing strategy that will increase your leads, engagement, and conversions all in a feel good way that also saves you a ton of of time. So if it's between that date period or if you even earlier and you just put that date in June 23rd in your calendar, make sure to check it all out at yalkeone.com forward slash experience. Okay, with all those exciting announcements out of the way, let's talk making your tech easy because who doesn't want that? So in this episode, I'm not going to talk a lot about choosing your software. I recommend checking out episode five for more on that or of course, day three of the bootcamp. Instead, I'm going to talk about a huge problem I see when it comes to choosing your software or (laughs) two problems, really. One is crowdsourcing your choice by asking, oh, what does everyone use? Or two, just going with MailChimp because that's the one your web developer set up for you. So you just thought that's the one you use. Both do not take into account your unique business priorities and skill set and frankly, what you like. To me, the bottom line is that the best email marketing software for you is the one you are actually going to use. If you are finding your email marketing software difficult, after giving it a quick try and going through some support documents or setup videos, I absolutely don't want you to write something off um, because you just think it's going to be hard and you haven't actually given it a go. So please make sure you actually get it a go. But if you have given it a go and you're finding it all difficult, then that's the software. That means that software isn't the right software for you. You'll only keep procrastinating, thinking it's all too hard. And let me tell you, not all software is created equal. Of course, now is the time where you might be thinking, okay, yeah, I'll just tell us what one's the easiest one to use then. But I really can't do that because you might find um, different software easier compared to someone else. You know, you might like visual builders or flows, um, but others might prefer a list style or more logical, like if this, then that settings. Some people might like, you know, be able to play with complex things, while others might just want the most 
okay? Just almost like a plug and play situation. That is your choice. So you might also might find one easier to navigate and, some, and logical, but someone else might find that choice very confusing and frustrating. So the good news is <laughs> that there is something for everyone. The majority of software can do all the basics. So everything that I teach, even if I don't teach the specific software you use, most software will cover the basics and be able to do that func- the functionality. So they have the sign-up forms. They enable you to send your campaigns. They enable you to have some groups and segments. They have automations and they even might have some automation recipes and templates and different things that you can just copy and use. So please just think about you know what you like to use best and how you like to work best. Maybe even think about other software that you like and then get stuck in. So just don't write everything off just because you found something difficult to use. But apart from that, apart from what you find easiest to navigate and use, there are also three other key factors that I do want you to consider. The first one is paid versus free. Now, the temptation here is to go with a free piece of software because why not? It's free. But if paying for something means it makes your life easier, it makes things quicker, and it makes things more effective, then please just pay for it. So a big example of this is MailChimp. And while I do support MailChimp in my programs, um, and it can be great for many businesses, rarely will I say you can stick to the free plan. The free level is just so limited. And while there are workarounds, which I do teach um, inside my email experience program, you do still have to ask yourself, is the time it takes to do all these extra steps, plus take the risk that it could go wrong in more places worth it? And the answer is no. Your time is the most valuable resource. So if it means paying a small monthly fee to give you more of that time back and less stress, it is absolutely worth it. So whether it's a paid MailChimp or going to one of the other paid softwares, which by the time, you know, you compare plans with some of the more advanced softwares with, you know, some of the limited capabilities of a MailChimp, you might choose to go with one of them. And a side note here, your email software should pay for itself anyway you should be getting sales directly from your list and be able to, you know, say, okay, I've spent $20 a month on my email marketing software, but my emails have generated $200, $2,000, $20,000 worth of sales. You know, it should pay itself back. It should not even be a consideration as far as I'm concerned. It's like, it's a literal return on investment. They say email marketing has the highest return on investment of all online strategies of $44 per dollar spent. So please, (laughs) <laughs> please pay for your software um, unless you are really, really just starting out, in which case I would say MailerLite will give you the best bang for your free buck. The second factor I want you to consider in all this tech making your life easy are your integrations. So this is the other place where many people go wrong. So if we were talking about making your tech easier and your email marketing software user-friendly and saving you time, then you want your email software to be able to talk to other key pieces of software you use. So for example, your e-commerce store, the more data you can get through, the better. Or your calendar booking system, so you can identify who is a lead or a client or what type of package someone has purchased. Or your cart software for courses, memberships, and other digital offers. So not only do you want to know who is a customer and who isn't, so you stop marketing to those who have already purchased, but you can also provide support to them in different ways. So in an ideal world, you would choose software that integrates directly to the other key software in your business. So your email marketing software to your calendar software. A simple Google search will see if this is possible. Just search Active Campaign and Calendly and see what comes up. Now, sometimes it isn't always possible directly, especially the more obs- with the more obscure stuff. But as long as your soft- both software, do the email one and the calendar one or whatever one you're connecting it to, as long as they both support Zapier or like automate.io, you will still be able to achieve the same result. You just have that one extra step in the middle. So that's a piece of software that connects the two. It's not as I- ideal, but it's better than not having your systems talk to each other. And a side note here, Um, Please also think about this when choosing your other software. I can't tell you how many times I've had clients who've come to me with some very obscure calendar booking um, software or membership software that integrates with nothing, like not even Zapier, not even, um, yeah, and it just makes, yeah, not any software, sometimes not even MailChimp, nothing. So yes, we can try to work around with some Stripe integrations or something, but it's not as easy and we want to make this easy for you. That's the whole point. So please make things easier on yourself by always checking compatibility of all the software you use. You might not need to set up the tech for it, but at least make sure it's possible. 
Because the last thing we want is for you to have to manually enter data and try to get it in there quickly. Um, so, okay, oh crap, this client just purchased and I'm about to send another promotional email. So I need to quickly go manually remove them from the promotions list. You don't want to do that. Or you don't want to have to pay someone on your team to do that because the software should be able to do that for you. So again, this is all about saving you time and stress. And now the third factor is all about keeping it simple to start. So again, yes, there is a lot you can do with email marketing. I love playing with all the toys and I love telling you about all the different ways you can use it. And yes, you might want to initially identify 10 different groups of subscribers that you might want to send different campaigns to, to talk to them in different ways and to provide that amazing customer experience. But the more of this, then that, and the more, okay, if this happens, then that happens. Oh, then, but what if this? And then what if that? All of a sudden, the more complex your setup. Before you know it, you end up with a gazillion tags and automations and it becomes really hard to manage. So while the temptation can be you to use all these um, toys to begin with, don't. Please just start with the bare basics, get used to that, understand your software and build from there. The bells and whistles and segments can come later. You're better off starting with something um, than not starting at all because you want every scenario covered. Please start with just get your sign up form get those emails going, get some welcome series and then build up. And if you don't know where to start, then absolutely make sure to join that bootcamp and I'll be talking through that on day four. Or of course, I cover it all inside the email experience. So bottom line, if you are still choosing your email marketing software, have a listen to episode five, check out day three of bootcamp and just choose two to have a deeper look at. Maybe watch some YouTube videos or email experience videos and sign up to the free trial of these software. Um, Most have them. And just navigate around and see if you like it. Then choose something. Pick a deadline when you have, make that choice by and choose it and just go for it. Now, if you do have some software that you are using, but you really struggle and you really don't like it and you have actually given it a go, also go through the above. Just go through and watch those videos. It is not difficult to migrate. Um, and I do cover this in, in depth inside the email experience. It isn't difficult to do, especially if you're still at those beginning stages when you don't have a ton set up. So there's not much you need to copy over. So it's not something you want to be doing every month or even necessarily every year, um, but it isn't that tricky. And you will thank yourself for the effort later. Okay, so please, please just give it a go. Just give it a go and you might surprise yourself with how well you actually do when you have the right tools in place. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to register for the email marketing bootcamp before June 23rd at yalekeown.com forward slash bootcamp. Or if it's after June 23rd, check out the email experience at yalekeown.com forward slash experience. I would love to hear from you about what you've enjoyed most from this episode. So make sure to DM me over at yalekeown on Instagram. I'll be back next week with the final secret, secret four. See you then. Thank you for listening to Easy Email Marketing. It's an absolute honor that you chose to listen. If you love this episode, then it would mean the world to me if you could leave a review so that others can find this podcast and make their email marketing easy too. Finally, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss a thing. Until next time, have an awesome day and make sure to keep showing up and serving in those inboxes.